guys, welcome to Wild NZ Outdoors. Uh, just doing another review, and this time we have the two top bipods mounting gear backlands. So, these are both the carbon ones, and uh, this is the version two of the normal knot notch legs. And this one is the mountain bipod. So, let's get into it, let's have a look and see what we've got. So for the mountain bipod, we have the mountain bipod. Now I've used everything from your cheap, you know, fold out bipods through to your Harris fold out bipods, the Spartan bipod, Backlands bipod, and now this one. I've been using Backlands for probably a year now. Uh, it's been fantastic. It's massive upgrade from uh, the Harris bipod, but like I said, I'm always, always looking for the next thing and something to improve the gear that I can run out in the field. So I've gone for the mountain bipod. With that, um, it has the Picatinny rail mount. Now, this did put me off, to be quite honest, at the start. Put me off because I was like, I have to put a mount on there, I have to drill another hole. But chatting to Matt, it's not too much of a bigger deal. He's come up with this rail mount. And this rail mount has a sling swivel on the back of it. So you use one at your existing hole with your sling swivel with one of the mounts there. You have to drill another hole in the stock. Most of my stocks are carbon fiber, so I was a little bit tentative doing that, but she's on now. In the box, a couple of stickers, other bits and pieces for mounting on the bipod. But other than that, she's pretty straightforward. How this bipod works is that there, it's mounted onto your stock. You have a little push button. And that pushes and slides straight over the rail and clips in. Solves as. Uh, the bipod has little grooves. Three little grooves, there, 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 and there. Um, one thing I did notice that he also mentions on his page is that everything feels real stiff, like you, you can hardly turn it. But once it's on the rifle, it's a different story. This is all extendable, both sides, one hand, adjustable, legs go apart, massive spread, all the specs and stuff are on his website. I've got one of these on my rifle, so let's have a look at that. There's the mount on the rifle. It's nice and flush to there. So basically what I did, pull the barrel action out, use the existing hole, that one, for that mount, and drilled a hole in the fore end. It comes with these little things that you push into your stock, and I just put a little bit of aerodite to lock them in place. That works out really well. As you can see, I have the mountain bipod on the front of the rifle here. Now I'm pretty impressed with the range of motion and everything uh, that this thing has. That was ultimately that made me want to go for it and give it a go anyway and see what it's like. I haven't actually used it in the field yet. I've got a couple of trips coming up. Hopefully that works out all right there. From initial testing, there's very little movement. The only movement that's there is the mo a little bit of movement which you have to have so it can slide onto that big penny rail. Now this can be used as upright as that, which is out there, or right out flat, like so. Uh, now as you can see, now that it's on the rifle, the stiffness that it was before is I can move it pretty freely there that way and and that way as well. So that allows you to swivel on target and to lean. What I did like again another thing just first initial impressions is if you're down on target or you want to get on target you're on the side of a hill you're down there behind the rifle, you can adjust it with one hand, straight out, from here further, straight out. I quite like that. It's extremely light, like you know, most of the carbon stuff that's coming out now. They're all within, you know, sort of 20, 30 grams or whatever it is, going from a 450 gram bipod, you know, in your Harris and your bipod of death, I think they call it. 
to something like this at 140 grams, I think, something like that. Another thing is it has real aggressive feet, not so good for uh, shooting off your truck bonnet. Nothing a, uh, a day pack or something wouldn't fix. The button on the front, push that in, swivels. Pretty cool. NZ made. So, like I said, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. And basically, from talking to Matt, he's like, if, if you find somewhere that you cannot set this bipod up, you're doing well. Anything from a wall, in which case you would be like that. Your rifle still vertical, a rock wall. Um, it's just, just so much use. Hold it forward. Carry on. Away laughing. And take it off. It's as easy as pushing the button, sliding it off. Put the sling on there. Perfect. Starting off with the back lens. Comes in a nice pack. Um, comes in like this. So basically, you've got your, your bipod your mount, the tool for doing it up, and the screw. So we'll um, chuck this on the rifle and set it up and see what we're looking at. Take this out, unscrew that, chuck the back lens one in. The back lens mount mounted on the rifle. There's a the sling swivel that came out. Mount it on there. Here is the back lens and the mountain bipod. So we have Plans mounted on the rifle here now. Um, basically, go through so getting the back lens on and off here, on there, lining up those little little mounts, top and bottom. Flick it to the side, and then pushing on the outside until it clicks. And that's on there now. Can't come off. To remove it, you push the button in the middle and twist, and she's off. So that one's there. Now, basically, comparing these two bipods, um, the pros and cons of this one versus the mountain bipod. So, this one. Here, two is basically fixed until you put forwards pressure on it and it tilt and it twists. So we'll twist there, forwards pressure, and we'll twist to there. And this has two settings, uh, three settings, sorry, four settings. One, two, three, four. Everything feels nice and tight in the legs, the swiveling, the buttons are nice. Um, the only thing I've noticed, I've used this at the range uh, quite a bit, and I have noticed that it is not very nice when you're lining up to take a shot. It's quite, quite wobbly once you've got that forward pressure on. Um, it's not solid. I was basically used to using the Harris before I started with these carbon bipods and it's it's not it's not a solid because you're because you need to put the forwards pressure on it to get it to swivel when you're forward loading it at the range it puts it into its freeing position and is is, is basically quite quite wobbly um, I didn't really like it 
uh, the fact that it did that, but that was, I mean, that's the reason why he's, he's, you're able to swivel, but um, but that year at the range and, and doing long range shots, I forward load my bipod and that puts it in the, in the wobbly, basically in the loose stance of the bipod. Uh, it folds up flat and the legs stand out like so and can be you now I'm sure you could uh, basically you just got those those two movements there and there extending pretty easy to adjust You've got the spikes spike feet and yeah I mean there's not not too much they've got the swing sling swivel on the back here uh, so you chuck your sling in there and yeah it's a pretty low profile setup and they're one one it's really easy to fit you can fit to most rifles and he's got um, a lot of different well I think there's about three or four different mounts for different rifles um, this mount is a generic mount that fits most rifles and basically you just remove your sling swivel put the put this in bang it up it's one one mount it's got some foam underneath of it after using this extensively on the range um, and carrying it I noticed that the mount swiveled so it actually put a dent in my stock at the top from the from the load at the bottom being only mounted in one place. In review of the mountain bipod and the backlands bipod, thought I'd better finally cap this off. It's been a long time coming. I've used both of them extensively now. I've actually sold my backlands and exclusively running the the uh, mountain bipod. The reasons that ultimately uh, the pros and cons of what I did and didn't like between both of them was the the backlands with that forward loading. So in the field, on the range, you forward load to take a shot and that put that into the loose position or the swivel position as such. You struggled to stay on target whereas versus the mountain bipod, you, you lean forward on it and it basically locks out. The adjusters on the legs, so the leg adjusters on the mountain versus the backlands again, the mountain being up high and the backlands being down low. I found that in the field, you know, in snow, long grass, anything like that, the the top mounted on the on the mountain bifold for adjusting up and down was a lot easier to access. So that was another reason. The the backlands one is definitely easier to fit to a rifle because um, it just takes that one sling stud um, and it has a little bit of foam underneath versus the you know having to fit a Picatinny rail to the to the end. But ultimately, I think the the pros of the mountain bipod outweigh the backlands. The only the only bad thing that I find with the mountain bipod is that the the small, the small buttons for rotating your legs up and down versus the Backlands one that's got nice big buttons on the side. It is a little bit fiddlier to to get your thumb in there, like with gloves and whatnot. It's a little bit a little bit harder to do. In saying that, it's, I haven't had any issues doing it. But just if like if you could choose one option, that Backlands bigger button would be better um, but it doesn't take away from the bipod use. I talked to some guys and they've sort of said that the mountain bipod looks flimsy. I've been using it for oh, close on a year now. I haven't broken it yet so it's uh, it's been from the you know the bottom of the valleys to the top of the hills with me so still going strong. Yeah I hope that uh, sort of helped some of you guys to decide what you want to do and um, sort of gives you the pros and cons of both of the pretty much the top bipods we can get here in NZ. Hope that's hope that's been a help for some of you. So, cheers.